Comparing two lists is easily done with Power Query, but you might prefer to use a formula to extract values present in two lists. Now, before we had dynamic arrays, this was a daunting formula to write, but the new filter function available in Office 365 makes it dead easy. Let's take a look. Here I have two lists that I've creatively named list1 and list2, and I'll be using these names in the formula. Notice that the values in red font and fill are present in both lists, and I want to extract them to a new list. So I'll start with the filter function. For the array argument, I'm going to use list1. And then the next argument is which rows I want to include. For this, I'm going to use count if, and I want the range to be list2, where the items are present in list1. And the count needs to return a count of greater than zero. So it needs to be present in both lists. That will return a one. So close the parentheses on filter and press enter. And you can see the results spill to the cells below. Now we have an instance of A present twice in list one. So we really want this to be a unique list or a distinct list. So let's use the new unique function and return ourselves a unique list. And the icing on the cake would be to have that list sorted. So let's use the new sort function to sort the list. And now we have a sorted, unique or distinct list of values that are present in both list one and list two. Now, what if your lists are different sizes? Like we have here, I've got values one and values two, and you can see values two is slightly bigger. Well, that's no problem. We can use filter again. Now the array that I want to filter can be either of them. So we'll just do values one. And which ones do we want to include? Well, we want to use count if, and I'm counting the values in the second range that are present in the first range. Again, we want to check that the count is greater than zero. And I'll close my parentheses on filter and press enter. Now here we have an instance where 10 is in the list twice. So we need to wrap it in the unique function. And let's also sort them. And I'll press enter. Now I have my three unique values sorted in ascending order. So you can see it doesn't matter if the lists are different sizes. Now, if you don't have Office 365, then you can use an array formula. It's not for the faint hearted. So let's take a look. I'm going to use index. I'm going to index the values. And then we need to find small if the count if of values two, and the criteria is values one times not count if, I told you it wasn't for the faint hearted. And we want to count this cell and we want it to lock in the first range. And the criteria is this list of values close count if, close not. The value of true will be row values one minus the minimum of row values one. Close row, close min plus one. If it's false, we want to return blank. Close if, and we want the first value in the small array returned close small and close index. And I need to control shift and enter. This is formatted to currency. So let's just make it general to be consistent. And now I need to copy and drag it down. When it gets to the end of the results, it returns an error. So we can just delete that last one. So you can see it's returned the same results. They're not sorted. That's one of the limitations of this particular formula. You could make it even more convoluted and have them sorted. Or you could just buy Office 365 and write this dead easy formula. It's up to you. That wraps up how to use the filter function to extract values present in two lists. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.